Hello, how are you? My name is Tanishri and welcome to my channel. So for this project, I'm using this gorgeous printed chiffon uh, that is in a floral print. I'm using about two yards of it. So you can use any fabric that has a kind of a fall and is kind of light in weight to give that flair to the skirt and ruffles that we are going to make. Now for the uh, lining part, I am using this cotton mix polyester lining and uh, what we are going to do is we are just going to mark the waist the hips and the hip height so i am just going to mark the waist so i have uh, folded this twice so i am doing waist divided by four and plus some seam allowance next i am going to mark the hip height which is the um the measurement from your waist to the largest area of your hip and then I am going to mark the hip measurements. So again, I am doing the hip divided by four. And then I am going to do, uh, I'm going to add some seam allowance to it. So I have folded it in four and I'm doing the back and the front exactly same right now. And if there will be need, I will be adding some dart to make the fit around the waist later. So this is just a very basic um, drafting you can say that I'm doing. So now I am just adding both the waist measurement and the hip measurement and kind of just drawing a freehand line. So for a pencil skirt, I think you need just um, four things in general. So first is your waist measurement. Second is your hip measurement. Then you have the hip height and then the length of the skirt that you want. I'm just going to use whatever fabric we have and uh, that is going to be the length of my skirt. Next we are going to just cut the markings that we made. So let us just cut it quickly. So this is how it looks when you open it. I am just going to cut the um, joining fabric between these two so that we have like a separate front and back. So let me just cut that. Now here you can decide where you want to put your zipper. I have decided to put it in the back. But you can um, either put it in the back or on the sides. It's totally up to you. So let us um, do the front and the... Um, let's get the uh, front and the back apart. And uh, then what I'm going to do, I am going to cut the back piece into two because I'm uh, going to put the zipper in the back. So I need an opening for that. So I am going to just slit the back um, into two halves. All right, let's get started with the ruffle part of our skirt so here you need to decide whatever length of ruffles you want so it can be anything depending on how much fabric you have and uh, what is the length of the skirt that you're going for so i am just going to measure um, the length of the ruffles that i want and then i am going to make long rectangular um, kind of strips for that all right so i have measured um, the length of the ruffles that i want and then i am just going to kind of cut these long rectangular slits into that length um all right so let's see what we have so this is like the first rectangle and uh, then we have another rectangle uh, so these huge strips of fabric now you can decide um, how flary you want it, uh, how much ghera you want, what should be like the density of the pleats that you want to have and it all depends upon how much fabric you have. Next I am just going to uh, attach all these strips together. So I am just going to sew all the strips together so that it becomes like a huge one strip. Alright, so I am going to sew that um okay so the next thing that we are going to do okay let me show you this once more so say you have one strip like this and then you have another strip like this and then you are going to join them in between all right so the next thing that i decided to do is i want to um kind of uh, put this floral print on the lining of the skirt as well 
so i am going to do like a full uh i'm going to cover the full lining with that uh, main fabric that i have so this is like the front of the skirt and then i am going to cover this one as well with the main fabric that i'm using so that when you know so inside also this is because this is like a transparent fabric so inside also you have the main fabric if anything shows all right so i am just going to feed my thread here and then i am going to attach this um main fabric to the lining fabric using a zigzag stitch i always find the zigzag stitch to be a little stronger and even if you want to like um rip the stitches it is easier to do in a zigzag stitch that's what i feel but again whatever you're comfortable with uh, i'm just going with a zigzag stitch to attach the lining to the main fabric so that um a they get attached and also b there are no fraying i mean there is no fraying of the fabric um all right so let me do that and i'll see you after that okay so i'm done with the first piece and this is how it looks so let us go and do it for the other pieces as well uh, don't worry as to why one piece is um you know larger than the other i'm just going to attach them first and then i'm going to cut the excess fabric after that so after this i'm going to attach the front piece to the back piece of the skirt and then install the zipper uh, you can also use elastics um, for the waist if you want now for the next step i am just attaching all the strips together that we just made so making it into one long huge strip so i'm just going to attach all these strips together Next, I'm going to hem the raw edges of this long strip that we just created. So for that, I'm using uh, my pico foot. And uh, so basically how it works is you kind of roll over the fabric uh, that you want to pico and then you feed it into this pico foot. And uh, also important thing to remember is you have to use like a zigzag stitch and uh, so when you use that you use this exact stitch then you feed the rolled fabric into this foot and that's when it gives you like a beautiful um, hemmed pico so it was a long strip so it took me like a lot of time to hem the whole thing all right so after that what we are going to do is we are going to create knife pleats like this now you can decide whatever width you can also go with box pleats if you want but i just like it um a little bit neat so i go with knife pleats you can also go with uh, uh, kind of just gathering the fabric together as you please i'm just going with knife pleats because i think it is simpler and kind of more maintainable um if you would like to say that so yeah uh you just create these kind of pleats with whatever width you want and you're just going to stitch them together this is going to give you that whole ruffle effect that i had um okay so let us do that it's a long strip so that's why it's taking a lot of time and i just fold the fabric as i go and i stitch them together okay so this is how it looks we have our ruffles we have our skirt and now i'm just going to attach this ruffle part onto the skirt so i am putting the right side of the skirt and the uh, ruffles together and then i'm just going to stitch it and here's the result <laughs> 